The bones of the hand, and particularly the wrist, can be tricky to remember, but this mnemonic will help you remember not only the names, but also their positions. The wrist is made up of eight bones, roughly in two rows of four. The mnemonic starts as some lovers try positions. S is for the scaphoid, L for lunate, T for triquetrum, and P for pisiform. To remember the position, you can use the letter P, because the pisiform is on the same side as the pinky. The scaphoid and lunate articulate with the radius, and the radius is always on the same side as the thumb. The second half of the mnemonic is that they can't handle, which is for the trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, and hamate. The scaphoid is the most commonly injured bone of the wrist, usually from a fall onto an outstretched hand, and it is associated with pain in the anatomical snuff box and with axial pressure applied on the thumb. It is also famous for having a risk of avascular necrosis, because it has a retrograde blood supply, meaning blood flow from its distal end towards its proximal end. This is mostly from the dorsal branch of the radial artery. If the scaphoid is fractured, blood might not be able to reach the proximal end, giving avascular necrosis of the proximal part of the scaphoid. Next up are the metacarpals, numbered 1 to 5 from the thumb, which is easy to remember because each hand only has one thumb. A famous fracture of the metacarpals is the boxer's fracture, which is on the fifth metacarpal after striking with a closed fist. This can lead to misalignment of the knuckle, as the metacarpal makes up the knuckle. You then have the phalanges. There are three in each finger, called the proximal, middle, and distal phalange, but only two in the thumb, the proximal and distal phalange.